Renato Armarina. Thank you. The title of the speech is What Realtors Really Do. It's between eight and 10 minutes. Renato has been a member of Toastmasters since 2014. During his first year as a member, he completed his CC manual within seven months and competed in the Toastmasters International Public Speaking Competition in Pennsylvania. Renato, Renato won his chapter competition as well as the area competition, which is very impressive. Renato is working from the Professional Speaker Manual on Project 4, the Professional Seminar. And tonight he will conduct a seminar-style seminar presentation which must include a clear learning objective. Renato would like to educate us about what realtors really do and what you should look for in a realtor. Please welcome Fellow Toastmasters and our guests, what will you do for me? That's the question you should ask your next viewer. Now, before I got into real estate, I thought, wow, what a racket. These guys just show a house and boom, they get a paycheck. They get a commission <laughs> check. How many of you think that? Raise your hands. <laughs> I believe it. But that's not the case. We do so much more. Besides finding the right house for a buyer, I also want to make sure that I get them qualified before we even go out and look at a house. Now, how does that benefit the buyer? Anybody? They don't waste their time. They don't waste their time. They find the house that they love, right? <coughs> oh, I've got to have this house. But they can't make an offer because they're not qualified, or they don't know how much they qualify for. The house is 500000 they only qualify for 340 so they can't buy it. That's bad, right? Yes. So it's my job to make sure they get qualified before we go out to look at homes. Now we find the right house. They're happy, right? They want to make an offer. Guess what? My work just starts. This is a real contract. I told you a few weeks ago I sold the house. This is the contract. I can't share it with you for obvious reasons, but it is 13 pages long. <laughs> it's the realtor's responsibility to explain all 13 pages of this document. Do all realtors do that? No. I don't think so. Yeah, just sign here on the dotted line. That's my job. Now I present the offer to the seller. I might get a rejection, I might get an acceptance, or I might get a counteroffer. If I get a counteroffer, then what? I have to put my negotiation hat on, right? And I'm going to do my best to get this house for my buyer. If they accept it, great. Now I have what? An executed contract. Am I done? No. Heck no. Now I change hats. Guess what hat I put on now? Finance. Mm, good guess. My project manager hat. I now have 15 days to get an inspection done. Now, you don't have to get an inspection. But me, personally, I recommend an inspection for all my clients. Why? How does this benefit the client? Reduce surprises. Reduce Avoid surprises and headaches, right? Now, this house happened to be new construction. No issues, right? Yeah. Mm. 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 Florida. Kind of, sort of? There is a warranty, but still, I recommended getting the inspection. Thankfully, the buyer wanted to do that. So, you know, have the inspection done. Now, I went to the home the day of the inspection. Do all realtors go to the inspection? The majority don't. At least that's what I hear. I went. I went for a couple of reasons. One, I wanted to meet the inspector. Two, I wanted to show my client, the buyer, that I have her back. And I also wanted to be the first person to find out if there's any issues. And there were. Now, this is new construction, right? There shouldn't be any issues, but it's just minor stuff. But here's the report. <laughs> I have it with me. And there was just minor things, like the molding around the door coming from the garage into the house. 
wasn't quite set right. You can see light coming in from with the garage door open from the outside. That means what? Heat's going to come in, right? So what happens to my AC costs? Who pays the bill? The buyer. The buyer. So who gets shortchanged? The buyer. The buyer. I don't want that, right? So I want to make sure that gets fixed. There's a hole in the screen. Make sure that got fixed. It was, again, really minor things. But I was glad I was there because I was the first to see with my own eyes what the issues were with that property. So we get the inspection done. Again, I have my negotiation hat on. I've got to talk to the seller or the seller's agent and say, this is what we want done. And have, of course, I have to put that in what? Writing. Writing, right? Now have, everybody's got to sign off on it. Now we get done with that. Am I done? No. No. What else do we have to do? Title, right? Got a title company. Make sure the title is okay. We don't have any issues with title. What else do I have to do? The appraisal. The appraisal. Thank you. I got to make sure the appraisal the appraises. What if the appraisal is above or below what we've offered? That's a problem, isn't it? So again, I have to make sure I can iron all that stuff out. So my job as the project manager is to make sure that everything goes smoothly, so that when we go to closing, there's no issues, no problems, and everything closes on time. Now, that's working with buyers. When I'm working with sellers, I have several responsibilities. My first is to enhance the property. Now, why do I want to do that? Why do I care? I think it's higher price. Higher price. Well, it's more commission for me, but it's a higher <laughs> price for my seller. Are a lot of agents going to take the time to walk through the house to make recommendations? Maybe, maybe not, but I do. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to think, maybe you need to declutter this room. Or maybe, you know, I don't know what you would think of that purple wallpaper in the bedroom looks great, but I think clients might prefer beige or like gray color. So I might suggest that. Or maybe it's just cutting the grass and putting some mulch down in front to increase the curb appeal of the house. I'm going to take the time to do that. Next key responsibility is the price. What do I price the home at? Somebody just said, what do you want to price it at? Oh, we're going to put it up here. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Price it up here. And it's going to show it. No one's going to look at it, right? And, I, and we lose what we call the golden time. Does anybody know what the golden time is? The first 30 days. Excellent. Thank you. First 30 days. We want to generate a lot of excitement, a lot of interest, and a lot of foot traffic. What's that going to do for us? Potential customers. Potential customers. Increased competition. So you get right, we're going to get multiple offers. Thank you. What, and what are multiple offers going to do? Raise the price. They are going to bid the Bidding price more. up. How does that benefit the client? You're going to get more money for their house. Right? If I've got three offers, they benefit. So I believe, as does my company, that less is more. Instead of pricing it up here, all right, here's the market. I'm going to press it just below the market, just a teensy, teensy hair below market to generate a lot of interest, a lot of excitement, and a lot of foot traffic so that I get the multiple offers which are going to bid the price up. Make sense? The next thing I do is, again, I'm a project manager. I'm going to manage the entire project. I'm going to make sure everything goes smoothly so that this house closes on time with the fewest amount of problems or issues. And the maximum amount of money that my client can get based on market conditions. So all that benefits the client. And then lastly, I like to think of myself as not as a salesperson, but as an educator. A lot of you know I came from a training background. I do not consider myself to be a salesperson. And I tell my clients that. Instead of, I consider myself to be an, uh, an a trusted advisor. So I'm going to answer any questions, concerns that they have, educate them, and make sure that they make the best possible decisions they, you know, based on their uh, objectives and their goals. So that's what I do as a realtor. I don't know what other realtors do, but that's what you should look for in a realtor. So the next time you need a realtor, don't be afraid to ask the question, what 